fourth stop on the Visma World Cup Women's Bobsleigh Tour. They moved to the track in Lake Placid, New York. They've been sliding out here since the 1932 Olympics. Sandra Kyriakos and Schneider were the leaders at the end of the first run. Here's Canada 2, Helen Upperton, Shelly Ann Brown, fourth place at the end of the first run. Upperton crashed in practice in training, but on this day, she posts uh, the best time of the run, best the Swiss. She's the leader, three sleds to go. Shot of Roebuck, Valerie Fleming. It's Valerie Fleming's birthday. Roebuck and Fleming had won a silver medal in the makeup race staged yesterday in Lake Placid. But down on the bottom part of the track in curve 12, they crash. Roebuck and Fleming do not finish the run. They're disqualified and neither athlete is hurt and they're consoled here by Shelly Ann Brown and Helen Upperton, the Canadians, who are now in bronze medal position. Now on to the Germans, Kathleen Martini, Christian Senkel. They're only two hundredths out of the gold medal after the first run. And she finishes with the best time, second best time of the run, but it's first overall. She's guaranteed at least a silver medal, one sled to come. And it's Sandra Kyriakos, Stephanie Schneider. They won this race yesterday, the makeup race from Park City, and Kyriakos is untouchable again in Lake Placid. Wins the event, going away. She's now won three of the four races on the North American circuit. She takes the World Cup season lead as we go into the Christmas break. For FIBT Television, I'm John Morgan.